investing is not this does not necessarily mean financial investing. It could be your emotional investing into a company Emotion. because you may really like a particular brand and you go and you buy that particular ping pong racket Great. or you buy a particular sneaker brand. Great. You are investing into that company. You're buying that shoe. You're buying that ping pong ball. Correct. You are buying, supporting that brand. You're uh, already emotionally and financially investing as a it. consumer. Okay, okay. Attached to it. But you could also, if you wish, you could invest as a investor into a shares of the company. Okay, but most uh, brokerage, they don't offer uh, fractional shares, right? And nowadays, many uh, started. Okay. Yes, like Webull started, uh, Robinhood started. Okay. Many of the larger Charles, ones already Charles started. Schwab, Charles Schwab also. Look, a lot of the brokerages were initially designed for bigger investors. Okay. That okay. doesn't need to care about, Smaller. you know, uh, instead of uh, buying $200 uh, uh, a share uh -huh. uh, a price or $10 a share price. Okay. But if you want to own Apple, and that's why companies do stock splits, as a matter of fact. Okay. Uh, like uh, um, uh, Tesla uh -huh. announced, uh, I believe it was a three for one or four for one stock split. So they had uh, $800 a share. And uh -huh. now it's, uh, uh, I think, uh, let's see, what was it? A uh, hundred something dollars a share. Oh, so more uh, people can get into it. So more people can afford a particular, yeah, right now it's 169. So uh, but, coming back to the- But that's not, if I may just uh, keep in mind that uh, if they uh, if one share was divided to three shares, mm -hmm. so one share becomes cheaper, it does not change the value of the company. Okay. It just increases the number of shares. The value of the company right. is uh, dollar amount per share uh -huh. times the uh, total outstanding uh, volume of shares. shares too, so if okay. before you had 100 shares right. at $100, and right. now you have 200 shares at $50, it's exactly the same thing. Okay, number of investors have gone up the price. Okay, yes. it, it just may be more accessible to a certain okay. investor to buy, uh, you know, a hundred dollar okay. stock. Coming, or coming straight to the point now, <laughs> Roman, I have five hundred dollars in my pocket. And I want to invest in this. So, what do you suggest me? Ten dollars, twenty dollars stock? Okay. Uh, yet again, it's it's not uh, about uh, uh, price per share. Okay. Okay. So uh, you have five hundred dollars to invest. I would actually even start uh, at five hundred dollars diversifying. What is the the, the diversification? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Diversification is not just buying one single company. You could buy you know two three different companies, two different uh, three different shares. Uh -huh. You could also uh, invest into uh, ETFs or exchange trading funds. Uh -huh, uh -huh. These are funds that are managed. Uh, by uh, professional investors uh -huh. that have a, a bulk uh, of or X amount of uh, different companies within that uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, their uh, index or uh, speaking of indexes, I mean, S&P 500 has 500 companies. Uh -huh. So there are many funds that replicate uh, they, and they quite diversify. I mean, it's like you investing $500 into 500 companies. It's almost having fractional shares in all of them. Wow. Okay. Okay. So the five hundred dollars can go into ETF. That means I'm automatically five hundred dollars uh, could go into ETF. I would do in a such a, in such a way. I would uh, just for the sake of uh, being a little bit more, I guess, engaged in the market. Uh -huh. I would take maybe you know three hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. put into a professionally trading uh, like ETF or. Uh, and take your hundred and fifty dollars and find maybe two companies and okay. buy a few shares or maybe even three companies buy a few shares a little bit at what see. rate each share is going to be five ten dollars fifteen dollars a share you could buy ten dollars two dollars okay just get fifty started. dollars okay, okay. all right you know good, good, good. you just need to make sure you like that company and know why you buy it. and make sure you visit their website and understand a, what the company does that's a very good point for a starter i have a question here uh, from one of the viewers and uh, right here, does crypto trading work the same way as trading on the traditional market? Good question. Well, <laughs> with the FTX debacle right now, uh, the, which is uh, was the exchange uh, uh, by S uh, Sam Fried, mm -hmm. SFB, uh, uh, 
he unfortunately uh, did not have all the uh, risk uh, safeguards in place and uh, he himself uh, and many investors just lost a lot of money uh, while investing there. Uh -huh. But, but uh, nowadays the technology is there, which will enable you to uh, invest into cryptocurrency, your bitcoins, your ethereum's. You could use. Uh, uh, there are many more broker houses oh, getting silly. involved to offer that uh, as an option to the investors. Okay. Uh, before we proceed to the next one, I would like to understand. You, I see some sign behind you on the the thing there. It's a D I A T U R. That's your company, I guess. So can you talk a little bit about that, friends? Our friend Roman also has uh, invested. He has opened some companies for technology and medicine, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Bes besides just being an investor, right. and uh, let me let, let, let me share a pre-story a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'll give you another personal trick and tip about how I invest. Okay. Uh, when I look and research a particular company, I like to see, mm -hmm. for one, do I like the product and or service mm -hmm. that is being offered, mm -hmm. and would I want to be a CEO of that company? Okay. Would I want to run that company? Right. And what kind of and when I think as a CEO of a particular company, right. what kind of future do I see for uh -huh. this company? Okay. By rolling my sleeves up mm -hmm. and actually managing it. Right. And do I see a future? Okay. And if I do, mm -hmm. then instead of doing all the job of the CEO, I could put a few dollars, my five hundred dollars or whatever it is, into buying some shares and let the other CEO do the hard work. Right. Because so back to your question, uh, the company there, the Dieton, uh, we have, uh, I have uh, uh, participated in launching and bringing to market some uh, interesting, innovative products. Uh, the one of the products is in space of glaucoma detection. Glaucoma. Uh -huh. Glaucoma detection. Uh, we actually have uh, consumers can do the consumers can do a medical profession has to do that. Well, uh, this is a professional, uh, okay. it's, it's called a tonometer, device. tonometry. Okay. So uh, you probably know when you go to, like, say, a, an eye doctor, they measure your eye pressure. Correct. So sometimes they either numb your uh, mm -hmm. eye mm -hmm. and uh, they, they touch with a little blue light, they touch your cornea, mm -hmm. and or you go to some doctors that blow air into your eye to okay. measure the pressure. Right. Uh -huh. What we have came up with, we came up with a technology that measures through the eyelid and... Uh, I just happen to have it on, on my desk. Oh, that's so, cool. As you notice, I, uh, yeah, the device I, measures, it's uh -huh. a handheld instrument, uh -huh. and it measures right on the upper eyelid okay. without touching the eyeball, which is revolutionary for the industry. Wow. Uh -huh. It's the, it's the uh, market right It's a big right deal now? for a number of reasons. I mean, uh, we've, we've been uh, quite helpful for the COVID situation uh -huh. because it's non-invasive. Non-touching. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Less, yes. less uh, contact. And uh, there are many other clinical parameters uh, since, uh, you know, it's not touching the cornea, which may have different parameters. Correct. You right. could even measure pressure without taking the contact lenses out. Right. Uh, is in the market already now? It, it is on the market. It's FDA approved. We're in 50 plus countries with this product. Oh, good. It's in the stock market too? No, we're not a public company. Okay, private company. We're not a public a private, company. We are a, a private company. Can a private company go into stock market as well? No. Uh, we, I mean, in theory, uh, we can, but look, one of the ways uh, people go, one of the reasons, and I'm sorry, one of the reasons people go into a public markets, they need to raise mm -hmm. either capital and or cash in their shares. Okay. They want to sh sell certain percent of their own ownership. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. say. You know, I own X amount of shares of my company, private right. company, right. and I want to bring other investors Invest into okay. it. That's uh -huh. why you go public, and that's why uh, you, as an investor, are able to invest into the Dieton or any other company that is private. So you go in as IPO? You could go through the IPO. Yes, it's oh. initial public offering. Okay. And or, as in recent years, uh, many companies came to market via SPACs. Which is special acquisition companies. Okay, spec. Okay, okay. That's interesting. So it's a. It was a pre-launched. Uh, uh, many specs. Uh, interesting companies came came to market. It's it's a cheaper and uh, cheaper way to come to market. Correct. 
Uh, friends, actually, we have covered only a, what a, a tip of the iceberg on this subject here. So it's a serious one. So hopefully, we'll be trying to bring more. So yes, people seem to be interested in asking questions. So we have more questions. So due to lack of our time and all this kind of stuff. So we can continue this series uh, same time next week, uh, uh, Roman? I yes, for one, thank you for having me. As a matter of fact, I, I really appreciate your <laughs> questions and uh, your audience's questions. Uh, they actually tapped certain things that uh, I may not, uh, you know, but does not come to my mind uh, to the top of my mind every day. Correct. Even though I live it on a daily basis, Correct. I do watch the market open almost uh, every, every day. day. And uh, I think the world of the stock market and the market overall is is exciting. It, it keeps you uh, up to date, it keeps you sharp, it keeps you uh, familiar with uh, uh, your nearby things closer as well as international things closer. So you, you, you get more involved with the world. Okay, I have one question before we really finish this. Uh, so we are in New York, right? So if we want to invest or if somebody in India wants to invest in a uh, stock market here, is it okay or for me to invest in Indian stock market is okay? There's kind of regulations there or there's no kind of... Well, there are various regulations in each country. Okay. So, uh, uh, in US, you could uh, uh, be as... A, uh, the, the bank what the, that I used to um, uh, be involved in was an international bank. Right. So, we had investors from all, all over the world. So, uh, if uh, someone is looking to invest into a US market... Right. Uh, there are uh, registered uh, brokerage houses okay. that uh, do offer their services internationally. Okay. So, and uh, within the local markets also, yet again, it's the same type of uh, uh, formula, so to say. Uh, many, many people, many um, international investors invest into a U.S. market because uh, there's a bit more regulation. Okay, more time. Uh, there's me. There's a bit more account, uh, accountability. Accountability. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Uh, no, as a U.S. citizen, can you also invest in Indian market, stock market there, or is there restriction? You could. You could. You could. Okay, yes, okay. you could. Our you European could, market. Uh, invest in, yes, you could. Uh, and many international uh, trades uh, that you could. As a matter of fact, uh, there are many companies that trade on. Uh, it could be an Indian company trading on U.S. market. So okay, there are. Okay, okay. It's possible, not necessarily the case, but uh, they could be trading as uh, ADRs, like uh, uh, American depository receipts. Oh, okay. All like, right. uh, like many Chinese companies trading, like uh, Baidu, for example, or Alibaba. Uh -huh. uh, they trading. It's a Chinese company. They could be trading in China, in Hong Kong, in Europe, as well as in US. So, if I were to trade for Chinese Alibaba, that means I have to pay US dollars, or I got to pay Chinese yen. It's going to be less. Well, I mean, if depending where you're trading or. Uh, uh, I, I believe Tata Motors, uh, they're, they're uh, uh, Indian company, uh -huh. uh, so they are trading on a U.S. market, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But, okay. So, right. yes, it, when you are investing in U.S., mm -hmm. uh, you are investing in U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars, okay. That's, that's interesting, okay. okay. Uh, one thing I will point out, but this is a little bit... Um, uh, a little bit technical, but if you're an international investor uh -huh. investing into you, you within US, mm -hmm. uh, and when you sell, let's say for the gain, uh -huh. there are certain uh, capital gain taxes that you have to be uh, uh, aware of in US, within US, and or you know, if you're making money abroad uh, as a US investor, okay. you also need to think, you know, what kind of taxes you have to pay uh, uh, right, in a particular okay. country. All right, friends, we are going step by step, like. Uh, stock market for beginners we have covered only a few questions yeah i got more questions to ask so we'll have this series every tuesday same 10 o'clock if it's all right with the uh, roman and about well, this i'm looking forward to the next one and let's do it uh, one at a, at a time today right. is the first one and uh thank That's you so it. much I, for having me no, I, I, I very much anytime. enjoyed thank uh, you Thank you very much, Roman. Thanks a lot for all the people who have been watching and asking questions. And we definitely, we would like to welcome them to ask more questions. So this way we learn more as we go along. And we should really be thankful to our friend Roman. Happened to meet him just by chance, I guess. <laughs> so one second, Roman. I just want to... It, <laughs> go ahead. Just wanted to make a quick suggestion. Yes. Uh, if somebody wants uh, to have my opinion on a particular company, which right. is publicly trading, mm -hmm. uh, please send it in advance, right. uh, and uh, I could take a look at it and give you my two cents what I think. 
Sure, they can, go, they can go through BTS or WhatsApp number here. We'll try to be in touch with each other so we can go through one channel. It'll be nice, you know. So I'll start with me first, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. All the best. I'll My see pleasure. you next Tuesday. And by the way, as far as it, uh, investment in, tec in technology and medicine, that's another separate subject. We'll have another day for the people who are interested in medicals. A lot of doctors, I know a lot of optometrists. I know maybe that is another way we can try to promote it as well. All right. So thank you very okay. much, uh, uh, Roman. Thanks a lot for all the viewers who have watched, taken time to watch us. Till we meet next time, have a very, very, very pleasant and good night to everybody. Thank you so much.